Hi guys, today we're going to be reacting to some 5 minute crafts. If you don't know who they are, well, I think the name kind of gives it away. They give you nice, quick, simple crafts that you can do. Well, this video, they did crafts about school hacks and how to make it so you can study better. But from the clip, I'm going to show you to start off. You're going to see that this is not really the case. All right, let's get this started. To start off strong, we're not even seeing a hack for studying. This is just straight up on the test. You can't study while you're mid-test session unless there's like answers written in the eraser, but that's not studying, that's just cheating. Also, why would you even have an eraser if it's a test where you're writing in blue pen? You obviously can't erase that. For answers that you get wrong, you just have to cross them off and recircle. So how could this possibly lead to a study hack? Uh, yes, everyone knows the hack of just putting an eraser on the edge of your pen because that's going to help you on tests in the long run. It's going to help you with everything. It solves all your problems. Actually, after this video, I'm going to go make one of those. This is so counterintuitive. If you wanted to just have a eraser on hand, just don't chop it up. Or if you just wanted something with an eraser attached to it, just use a pencil. I don't know. my eyes are deceiving me because I'm pretty sure this video is called best school hacks and crafts that make studying easier. I don't think that has to do with studying. I think that's straight up gambling and offering that to, well, I imagine you wouldn't see a college student doing this. I think they would just uh, go with what letter they haven't used the most, but imagine promoting gambling to someone who's, I don't know, an elementary school or middle school. They would straight up do that. There's no way that you're going to get a good grade by doing that. The only, and I mean only, instance where that might work is if it's a true or false, because then you have a 50-50 shot. But if it's, you have four possible choices, no, you're not going to get a good grade at all. Well, maybe you could, depends on how good of a guesser you are, but still... Okay, who wrote this episode? Because whoever they are, they need to go back to school. There are so many things wrong with this. First off, how does this even have to do with studying? And then the fact that the teacher just grades the assignment right after this person circled the last one. No, the teacher would at least take it back to their desk or something. This would never happen. Especially the grade in A+. This guy would be lucky if he got an F rather than an F-. minus. This is so bad. I really hope no little kids or just anyone uses that strategy. I just gotta say it. I don't think that guy was playing Minecraft. I think that was a video because he was playing mobile. Where are the joysticks? Like there's so many things wrong with that. Also, again, how does that have to do with studying? Okay, so if you get your phone taken in class because you're watching Minecraft, not playing it, because that guy was not playing it, what you should do is you should make a decoy phone because that will solve your problems. I mean, or you could pay attention, but pff, who wants to do that? Am I right? Actually, I cannot be the one to say that. I pay attention during all my classes. <laughs> I'm not joking, that's the entire hack. Just make a little cardboard phone, that way you can put a little puzzle in it, and boom. Problem solved. You'll be occupied, the teacher can't get you in trouble for that. Nah, because 
how would that even help you? It doesn't help you study. It doesn't help you not get caught by the teacher. Because this time, if you're caught by the teacher, I don't even know. At that point, doodle on your paper or something. Guys, don't you hate when you brute force open up a pack of Skittles and it just goes everywhere? It's like, I wish they would just make something on the package that made it so it was easy to tear and like open or something. Man, Skittles is missing out by not doing that. Oh, wait a minute. Why does this need a hack? The whole point of Skittles d package design is that they're easy to open. It's not like you need to go grab scissors to open them or you have to like pop them open like how you pop open a bag of chips. It's so straightforward, and yet, 5-Minute Crafts somehow thinks this needs a hack. Also, how is this even school-related? Who is opening a bag like that at school? You gotta do it secretly, or else everyone's gonna be like, Oh, you have Skittles? Can I have some, please? This is what the hack turned into, if anyone was curious. Just a little dispenser of Skittles, because, I don't know, seems like it'd be a good way to carry Skittles around. I just imagine this being in a book bag and just smashing everywhere, just Skittles going all over your bag. Well, at least your backpack would smell nice, but what was the point? Uh, if you wanted your bag to smell nice, which obviously is not the intended goal here, just spray something in it or something. This hack is so strange. If only Skittles came in a bag, that would make it so much easier. Especially because if it came in a bag, you could just tear it a little bit and pour out like a little handful or something. I got excited for a moment. I thought this was actually going to be a studying hack. Because, you know, that dude was reading. He was. I thought it was going to be maybe... Uh, DIY how to make a little fan, but then this guy just pulled out an ice cream and a bunch of popsicle sticks. Where could this possibly be going? Oh, guys, maybe I misspoke. I think he is gonna make a fan, but why would you use popsicle sticks? Hasn't anyone ever seen the one where you just get a piece of paper and you fold it? a few times and you just make a fan there. Voila, that's school hack. And it's actually realistic that you can do in a school. Okay, that hack was pretty cool, no pun intended, but I don't see any student taking the effort to do that. That's a lot of steps, and as I've mentioned before, a lot of students know that you, if you just fold a paper a certain way, you can make your own little fan. It's cheap, it's, it's very time effective, taking less than a minute to make. The real hack would be just to wear a short sleeve and bring a hoodie. That way, you can adapt whether it's too hot or too cold. Ah uh, yes, the good old study hack of take the answer key while you're taking the test or even before. But this looks like he's mid-test. I don't know if it's just me, but that paper doesn't look real to me. I think it was added with After Effects and Post. I don't know if I'm just seeing things or what. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. But I think that was added after the video was shot. This hack is so weird. There wasn't even anything sticky on the thing that he shot, so how did they pull the paper back? Just because it had a string attached to it doesn't mean anything. Also, why wouldn't you just use one of them sticky hands? It's probably easier to aim, and it's just more fun. I'm kidding. Just don't do this in general. Maybe study like this video said it was gonna try to promote. So basically, if you want to study, 
don't do any of these things, I think it would actually worsen your chances at getting a good grade. Especially the one where they were just spinning the little eraser thing to guess the answers. Alright guys, that's going to be the end of this video. If you enjoyed, hit the like button and subscribe for future content. Alright, bye guys.